This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. What's up guys? So I think it was sort of late a couple nights ago. I was casually watching some YouTube when I came across this video from The No talking about Fallout New Orleans and how someone filed a trademark for the game in Europe. Now at the time, I thought this was bullshit, so I just ignored it and I went to bed. And then I woke up earlier today and I found out that a ton of people are now talking about Fallout New Orleans and how it's great and how it's going to be made by Obsidian Entertainment. Oh shit, the guys that made Fallout New Vegas. Guys, I hate to break it to you, but this European trademark for Fallout New Orleans is fucking bullshit, and here's why. The story goes that a trademark has been filed for a Fallout New Orleans logo in the European Intellectual Property Office. Now, it's important to mention that there is no name behind this trademark registration, so it could be anyone other than Bethesda that filed the trademark, and if if you want my opinion, it's probably a fan of the Fallout franchise. Also guys, I've got to just say this, this logo looks photoshopped as fuck. All someone did is take the Fallout 4 logo, remove the 4, make the Fallout text smaller, and then typed New Orleans in Arial Bold font. And okay, I know, it's not exactly Arial Bold font, but you get the idea. My point is that it looks really fake, and if Bethesda was going to do a trademark for a Fallout New Orleans logo, I think they would actually hire a graphic designer that would do a much better job. Guys, I'm not even a graphic designer and I might have been able to make this particular logo. I use a Fallout 4 logo on my videos that looks extremely similar to this logo. Who's to say that some guy in Europe found the logo that I use on the internet and repurposed it into a Fallout New Orleans logo? Now if we eventually find out that Bethesda actually filed this trademark, which would be pretty awesome by the way, but honestly that that's not going to happen. I highly doubt they would use this logo because this logo, no offense to whoever made this, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but this logo looks like shit. All right, guys, now let's discuss why I think this particular news story happened and why it's picked up so much steam over the past two days or so. So really, ever since Fallout 4 came out, a lot of people have been kind of upset about the game. I would say they're right to be in some circumstances. Uh, Fallout 4's dialogue system was voice acted, which was cool. It's just that it wasn't quite as robust as the dialogue system that the player could use in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, we also got better DLC content with New Vegas, though I think some of the content for Fallout 3 was a little bit better um, than we have gotten with Fallout 4 so far. So really, I would say Fallout 3's DLC is up here, uh, Fallout New New Vegas is, is in the middle, and then Fallout 4 is, is probably at the bottom. But then again, Nuka World hasn't come out yet, and that might blow our minds. There's also some general discontent within the community about Fallout 4's settlement building system, and really a lot of people were just ultimately disappointed by Fallout 4 as a whole. And I sort of agree with that because there are some things I liked about New Vegas. I like the fact that you could have your character have an intelligence stat of one and you would like get all of these different reactions from NPCs. It was great. At the same time, Fallout 4's weapon and combat system is way better than Fallout New Vegas's and Fallout 3 as well. But I'm getting off track here. So... Basically, everybody thinks that Fallout 4 is bad and is awful, but a lot of people really liked Fallout New Vegas, and a lot of people really want Obsidian Entertainment to develop Fallout 4's spin-off game. After all, they did a great job with Fallout New Vegas. Now, this whole situation was spawned from a tweet that Joss Sawyer, who I believe is the lead designer, one of the lead designers over at Obsidian Entertainment, he made this tweet last year where he posted a picture of Field Notes, um, that had Louisiana written on them. And it's interesting to mention that Joss Sawyer also later mentioned that the picture he tweeted wasn't related to Fallout at all. So this was something that a bunch of people over, I guess, on like NeoGAF or one of those sites, they saw this and they made connections and they're like, holy crap, is it going to be Fallout? And ultimately it wasn't, which 
sucks, but it is what it is. If you ask me, I think what happened is that a fan of the Fallout franchise in Europe wants Obsidian Entertainment to make the next Fallout game. After all, Fallout New Vegas was a great game. Uh, so what they did was create a totally fake logo and then register the trademark for the logo to get people talking about it. And since there's been a lot of rumors about a Fallout New Orleans on the internet for a while now, both from Josh Sawyer's tweet, which was eventually disproved, and all that, um, I think that's ultimately why this story picked up and got a lot of traction. Plus, I think a lot of people really liked Fallout New Vegas, and they'd like to see Obsidian, because they did a really good job with Fallout New Vegas, make another Fallout game. Honestly, I think it's crazy that this thing picked up so much steam, especially considering that there is no name attached to the trademark at all. Especially when you have other stories from Nintendo talking about the Nintendo NX, and there are actual patents Nintendo has been filing on specific pieces of technology in the United States. And, I mean, that's been, like, blowing up and people have been speculating about that. I would say that that is more concrete than what we ultimately got with this particular story. Ultimately, though, I wouldn't mind seeing a Fallout game take place in Louisiana or New Orleans. Um, it's a part of the universe that's been largely unexplored. And where you have other states we haven't been to, like Montana or Wyoming on the West Coast, or places like Kentucky and Ohio on the East Coast, uh, those areas have been mentioned in previous games, where there's almost no mention of the United States Gulf region in any of the Fallout games. And for this reason, it might make the perfect Fallout game, as whoever writes the story and develops the world would be free to pretty much make what they want and not have to reference previous games much, if at all. Though it would be a really good idea if they at least paid homage to Fallout 4, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas. I will also say that I think the reason that Fallout New Vegas worked was because a lot of the key writers from Fallout 2, like Chris Avalon, worked on the game. I think those guys knew the situation on the West Coast better than Bethesda did, and that's mostly why Bethesda agreed to allow Obsidian to make New Vegas. After all, it's safe to say that the guys who made Fallout are going to make a great Fallout game. The thing is, I don't see Obsidian making the next Fallout game, and even if they did, Chris Avalone left the company last year and is now currently working on Prey, which is supposed to release um, in 2017 and is also being published by Bethesda. Now, this year, Obsidian Entertainment released the second part of Pillars of Eternity's White March expansion. They released a mobile game called Pathfinder's Adventures, and they're also slated to release another game called Tyranny uh, that releases, I guess, later this year. And they've also got another game in development called Armored Warfare, which is an MMORPG title. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that if Fallout New Orleans is going to come out next year, when is Obsidian going to have the time to develop it? especially since the company is working on other projects. If Bethesda follows the two-year split between games like they did with Fallout 3 and New Vegas, whoever Bethesda has working on the next game probably started development on it at least a year ago, maybe even more than that. And a year or two ago, Obsidian was off working on Pillars of Eternity, so, I mean, if they were going to start developing the next Fallout game, you would have think that they would have been in the process of doing that by now. What I think is an even more interesting topic is if Obsidian is not going to be developing the next Fallout game, who is the unknown developer that is working on a Fallout game, and is it going to be based in Louisiana like these claims of Fallout New Orleans? Who knows, guys? Maybe in like 2017, we'll have Fallout New Orleans and I'll be making videos on it and it'll be sick, so... I'm looking forward to that if that happens, but ultimately, guys, uh, just don't get your hopes up on this because, I mean, this logo, it's fake. I mean, I'm sorry, it just is. All right, I think that's going to wrap up this particular video. Uh, I do ask that you please like this video. Uh, I don't know how well this video is going to do, so if you made it to the end, please leave a like. Uh, let me know your thoughts about Fallout New Orleans, and as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.